All right, y'all. Boxing fans, y'all tell me out of these six, who is the best father-son combo out of these six? Now, of course, a lot of people might say, where is Roy and his dad? But he did a lot more with Murkison. But they see Floyd and his pops up there. And he was like, well, him and his pops up there should be Roger. It's just a list <laughs> of six. If you want to add some others in there we might have forgotten about or didn't know, that's cool to do that in the comment section. I just want to know how would you rate this six? This right now, like how would you rate them? This is no right or wrong answers. Uh, you know, I'll do it myself. You know, I see at the bottom we'll have uh, Santa Cruz, you know. I put him there just because he's just really getting started. Uh, uh man, it's hard to say who the next one is. It's tough. I would I would say probably Robert Guerrero and his pops. And then after that, I would say Danny Garcia and his father. Then I would go with Floyd Mayweather and Floyd Senior. Then Enzo and his pops. And then I got Tito number one. Him and his pops. Now, a lot of people going to say that Joe could be number one. Joe easily could be number one. And it's close between Joe and Trinidad with me. Because Enzo Calzaghe is a man that never boxed a day in his life never was in boxing and taught his son based on just watching and observing other people train and box and his fighter went undefeated world champion and retired on top of the game you know it's, it's very hard to do that you know most credit do go to his son but you know that father instilling that in him that belief to do what he do was just incredible but I went with Trinidad because of his list of opponents and world champions he went through and his run in boxing was just amazing you know he galvanized the sport real good and his father was a huge influence on him even in negotiations getting him a, a deal with Don King that other fighters couldn't get at that time so I, I commend him on tough negotiations and then getting the best for his fighter, which was Tito and his son. So, I mean, I respect that man. So he did a lot. He told Tito it was time to hang it up. Tito retired because he wasn't going to go in another fight with Tito if he wasn't 100%. So I admire that. 